Hey everyone, it's a weekend vlog number four. I'm on a roll. It's Friday afternoon. It's about almost four o'clock and I'm going to work out. It is January the 2nd and I'm attempting to not be a complete sloth this year. Maybe, just maybe. I'm going to a place and I'm doing one of those like Pilates, yoga, ballet kind of classes. They are really, really, really hard for me. And um, so this is basically just about to kill me. So you might have noticed I am completely like barefaced and I was pretty much in my pajamas until like 20 minutes ago. Um, so I figured, hey, I got nothing to lose. I'm already rambling and trying to like stuff way too much information into this one little moment. That is the rate at which my brain is working today. Very quickly, so many things to do. So many things I wanna do. It's all happening. Happy New Year. I did not make resolutions. Um, oh, side note for the people that are like, why are you working out? Which I'm doing that mocking voice, but I, but literally anyone in the world will say that to me, man, woman, or child. I want to work out because I want to have a healthy, strong body with some kind of muscles that can, you know, do really basic human things, like have good posture. I think it's necessary. Obviously, I'm not trying to lose weight at all. Not at all. Like, my sister and I were on the phone and she was like, what? Working out? People are gonna think you're crazy. I don't, that's, that totally does not even enter my mind what people think because I'm working out. That's, that's, that's crazy to me. Okay, I just got done working out and I'm not sure if the lighting is okay for doing a video in the car right now. It's only 5.30. I spent 30 minutes talking to my friend in the parking lot until it truly started raining on us and we're like, okay, we gotta stop this and go home. So it's only 5.30 but it's like very dark because it is super gross and rainy and cold outside. So not a fan of that, but I'm proud of myself for working out. Yay, go Leanne, where's my trophy? Um, it was so hard. Oh my gosh, I haven't worked out in probably like a month. And I only went six times last year. I felt like I was doing so good. And I mentioned this on an Instagram. In November, I worked out once a week, most of the weeks in November. And I was so proud of myself. Like, that's doing really good for me. I am just like not a person that works out. But I know that I need to work out to be a healthy human. So, I'm trying. I'm trying to be responsible about my health because, you know what, my health isn't all there, you know? I should do what I can. I make awesome decisions and after workouts, I like to have a little instant hot chocolate. Oh yeah, baby. Making it in the cure cause it's really easy that way. Come on. Come on. Check out my pizza lights. I know you like them. Go, 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 go! If you're a very good grown-up like me, you can have as many marshmallows as you want. Something weird happened to these marshmallows. I don't... Who touched my marshmallows? La la la, the struggle is real. I don't have a correct tool to cut this frozen pizza I just so expertly made in the oven. <laughs> I just want to have some pizza. I'm trying to eat and then I wanted to go to the mall but I can't. I'm running out of time and then I have to finish getting ready and then my friend's gonna come over and then I think we're just like gonna go out and have a drink or something. It's raining really hard and I don't know. Worst part about working out is having to wash your hair. Anyone with me? The mirror is dirty. Oh no, this will throw off my entire vlogging process. <gasps> Also throwing off my entire vlogging process, I decided to take a cleaning break. Very unlike me. Not what I normally do. Um, but it's my friend's coming over and I felt like it was just way too messy. Hmm. Apparently there are cool places to go. News to me. Do you like my sparkly, sparkly jewelry? Uh, I don't know why. I decided to put on my kitty cat face halter top because I ordered it at a time when I couldn't possibly wear it. I still have a tag on it and I never tried it on. It's just been kind of like sitting in a corner for a long time, but I'm still wearing it because I like it. So I might as well wear it around the house because that makes sense. 
duh, and sparkly jewelry because for some reason I was like, if I was a cat, I would wear sparkly jewelry. I'm just getting into cat mode like a normal adult woman. Like I said, I wanted to tell you about like the highlights of my week. It was New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, all that stuff. I went to a party. I went to the same party I've been going to for the past maybe three years. I'm not really sure, but it was fun. I had a good time. I did go to the theater and see Big Eyes in the last week, and that was pretty cool. Um, at first, I was actually a little bit on the fence about seeing that. Um, it seems like a movie that I would really want to see. It has Amy Adams in it, and I love Amy Adams. I think she's, like, such an, a talented actress. She can really do... She can do so many things. I mean, but... I wasn't drawn to it initially because it's a Tim Burton movie and don't get me wrong, I like Tim Burton, um, but there are certain gimmicky things that I don't like about him, but um, actually this one was like completely different than anything else I'd ever seen him do. It was so like, oh, I can't think of a better word than mainstream, but it was just like uh, straightforward basically. Um, it was a true story and... Uh, it made me mad. Throughout the whole movie, I was just mad because it was just like, how can you let him do this to you? And it's just incredibly frustrating to see her get like knocked down and pushed aside and she doesn't get any credit for this work that's getting hugely popular. Jason Schwartzman, he has like a small role in it, but that's why he was like on TV like so much lately because he was like promoting this movie and you may or may not know, I have a deep, deep love for Jason Schwartzman that is never ending. And, uh, okay, particularly, he was on Watch What Happens Live on Bravo. I wish that I could describe how cute and sweet and wonderful he was. He was just being absolutely adorable and that was making me sick. Does that happen to you? You're like, I love you, but you're making me sick. That's probably not a healthy relationship to have with anybody. Luckily, this is a one-sided thing. One quick question, guys. When exactly did seemingly every single tube of the duo Lash Glue go rotten? Because I'm pretty sure every single tube I've ever bought in my life has smelled like garbage. Is this just me? Is this something like, what, what, what? What's your experience on this? What's your take? We should be asking questions. I'm like running out the door, so I'm gonna show you my outfit really, 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 really fast. Okay, I'm wearing my furry, furry, leopard, nasty gal jacket that's actually a little too warm for even being inside, so I will take it off while I show you things. I stuck with the sparkly kitty cat jewelry, and I just added like a big, maybe not a big, but a super short, kind of roomy black dress with long sleeves. And then on bottom I have maroon tights from Target and my favorite everyday booties from Steve Madden. And for my makeup, it's just like pretty basic. You see what I mean? I don't think you can see what I mean, but it is what it is. For the bag, I was gonna wear my like super, super fringy suede maroon bag, but I kind of feel like it's too matchy-matchy. What do you think? I know you can't respond. I would really appreciate it if you could just this once, but I think I'm just gonna go with the lunchbox yet again. Good morning, little cactuses. I don't know if this makes sense, but people told me to water my cactuses with ice cubes. Actually, there was a lot of conflicting information on that, but my cactuses are still surviving and I'm very happy about that. They need names because they're all so different. This one reminds me of Mr. Krabs. Okay, so I'm all ready, finally, and it's time for me to go out. I didn't get to upload my video. I really, really wanted to. For some reason, that's very, very, very troubling to me. I know I can do it tomorrow, but I had it in my head that I wanted to upload it today. My mom texted me and said that her and my little sister are at the mall and they wanted me to come by. First, I have to run a little errand, um, but I wanted to show you my outfit before I got on the way. Okay, so the makeup is pretty much the exact same as yesterday. I was like really feeling the way that I did it. I know it's like so basic and you probably can't even tell what I have going on, but currently I like it and that's the look I'm kind of going for. I'm 
wearing one of my favorite sweaters from Topshop and uh, it's kind of cropped-ish. To me, it looks like a dirty kind of baby pink, which is a strange color, um, but, and the texture is like, I am like a little lamb. I don't know why, but I love it. It's super warm, but it's also a crop top. I don't know. I like conflicting apparel. On bottom, I'm wearing my Topshop Pants O Life, the Lee Topshop Moto jeans. And on my feet, I haven't put on my real shoes yet. These are my foxy slippers, which I really love, but sadly, I should probably not wear outside the house. Okay, I'm finally on my way to do my little errand, and hopefully I have the thing. I have to drop off a thing at one of my clients' houses. I know, I know, it's the weekend, why am I working, but... That's just kind of the nature of my job. And I'm gonna be out of town from Monday through Thursday of next week when everyone is basically going back into the office. So I kind of have to do something a little extra special just to make our regular schedule work. Whatever, this sweater is stressing me out right now because I put on my jacket on top of it and it's like, I'm like an exploding sausage right now. Um, really cute image to think about, right? Um, other thing that's really stressing me out pretty hardcore right now is the fact that I found a bald spot in my eyelashes. Because I'm driving, I cannot really show you and actually I really need some sunnies. I've told you guys about my eye troubles that I've been having in my left eye and it's kind of like getting a sty. Well, first I got a sty in one spot and then it moved to another spot and then it went away and then it came back and then it went away and it came back, but in different spots and only on my left eye. It's so weird. I've thrown away a lot of products, gotten new products. Um, I talked to my dermatologist about it and she said to use um, the, these little eye wipes that you can get at the drugstore. It does kind of provide some relief because sometimes it hurts. Um, but I discovered on my lower lash line, I have a gap in my lashes. So what I'm thinking has happened is I've been using those little OcuSoft uh, wipes that my dermatologist recommended so often for like the past month or more, I've like rubbed off my eyelashes and it's really, really, really troubling me to the point where I'm like, do I want to wear eye makeup? Slash, if I don't wear eye makeup, it's going to look even worse. I'm sure I'm overanalyzing it and no one's noticing it but me, but I don't know. It just freaks me out. My brain goes to terrible places in a situation like this. Like, I'm not obsessing over it, but like, I'm like, what if they never come back? What if I'm just lo losing my eyelashes forever? Which obviously is not a death sentence, but I'd rather that not happen, you know? So that's what I'm doing. I need to go there because I need to return a dress that my mom got me for Christmas because it didn't fit. They also got me a wallet. I should show you these things before I take them back. I'm going to LA on Monday um, and I'm going to shoot a video there. It's like a brand sponsored video thing and I'm going to kind of do like a series through this year and I'm going to do four hair tutorial videos and I'm really nervous about it. <laughs> I don't know if I should like straight up say that. I really haven't done that much as far as sponsored stuff and uh, when I do, I, like the first sentence out of my mouth is saying like, this is a sponsored video, I'm working with them and this was my idea. It's of utmost importance to me to keep us on the same page and let you guys know that I always create the concepts for my videos, I'm always doing something because that's what I wanted to do. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I've never done a video that was someone else's idea. That's the only way that I will work with brands. Like, if it's not 100% my idea and like exactly the way I want to do it, I don't want to do it because it's my channel. I would never want to do something that was not me. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So, I am a little bit nervous about this just because um, someone else is shooting it and editing it and stuff, so that makes me nervous, but I hope you guys like it because it's a hair tutorial and it is my hair tutorial. Like, I came up with a tutorial, I'm doing it myself and all of that, so hopefully you guys like it, even though I'm totally nervous. I shouldn't be nervous about that. Sometimes I don't know how to put my feelings into words. Anyway. All right, so that is out of the way and I'm headed to the mall. Um, I wanted to tell you really quickly about last night. Um, uh, I feel like it would be so weird to like film in a bar, but this place was so cool. 